my latest uh, Polar gym watch has just arrived. Um, so I thought I'll do a quick unboxing and then wear it for about a week or so and then continue with the review. Um, this is my fourth gym watch. Um, I tend to go through them about every two years. They last me about two years. Uh, I first started off with a, a Polar F11 and uh, it was a great watch um, but after about two years it, it, uh, it stopped working. Uh, then I went over to another Polar which is the Polar uh, FT80. This is a really, it's probably one of the best watches for the gym I've owned. I um, really liked it. Problem with it was the heart rate monitor to stop working and it's one of those sealed units and the amount it costs for just the uh, a new heart rate monitor was just ridiculous. It was something like 50 odd pounds um, and you could just buy a completely new watch for that. So I, I then went over to uh, MyZone watch. Uh, this you don't really need the watch, you have the uh, MyZone um, belt. Uh, this was a complete letdown, really really poorly made, very uh, bad uh, heart rate monitor. Uh, I've still got it uh, and it's it was just, it was just terrible. Um, it didn't give accurate readings, it was up and down and anyone wanting to get a MyZone product I would say Forget it. They are rubbish. This watch is terrible. Uh, the sec this is the second one. I had a red one before. There's a link to it just there if you wanted to watch how to uh, set it all up. And within a few days, uh, it just stopped working. Uh, it wasn't waterproof. So uh, I ended up getting another Polar. And this is the one I got, the A3 double um, O. And this is a activity fitness tracker. So you've got... Um, 24-7 activity uh, guidance, calories, online, mobile. You can use Bluetooth. It's a, it's a Bluetooth um, uh, heart rate monitor. So it's got um, activity goal, calorie, cal calories, excuse me, uh, steps and distance, vibrating activity alerts. Oh, basically what it does, if you wear it all the time, it uh, it vibrates and tells you it's time for you to get up and move around if you if you've just been sat around for a long period of time. You can actually wear it at night times and it tracks your sleep. Um, so I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, and it's got changeable wristbands, which is quite good. Uh, I got the white one. The reason I got the white one is because it was just cheaper. It was about ten pounds cheaper than the black one, and it's basically the same watch. Uh, and you can always change the uh, the bands, like it says. So. Uh, I got the cheapest one, doesn't really bother me. So that's just uh, the sticker on it. I don't know if it'll be working. Now, the other good thing about this watch is it's rechargeable. Yeah, it needs charging. Yeah. Uh, so I'll have to charge it up and I'm going to use it tomorrow. It's uh, too late for today. I've already been to the gym this morning. So this is what comes inside. So you've got your. Your heart rate monitor, this is to plug it into the computer, and then you've got the uh, the sensor, and then the manual. Let me just get it out of it. So you've got, uh, you can see the different types you can change it to. I believe there's an online guide as well, bipolar, so... I think that's an easier way of, of setting it all up. Uh, you set up an account and then you could just simply plug it in. Um, it's just, yeah, it's, it's got the back. How does that go? Oh, yeah. Yep, so it basically just comes out like that. And that's your USB, so you just stick that into the computer. And it works. I'm sorry if, my, uh, if it's out of... Uh, focus sometimes and out of shot because I'm actually not looking through the viewfinder. So I'll charge it up, use it tomorrow and then wear it for a, a week or so and then uh, come back to you and tell you what I think about it, if it's worth it or not. But third Polar, I've been happy with them in the past and I think they're the best um, heart rate monitors and gym um, activity trackers, I guess you could call them. Um, so stay tuned for the rest of the review. I've been using the watch now for about uh, two months, just over two months, and I'm I'm disappointed with the watch. Uh, it's not really what I 
expected. I was expecting something with a bit more features in there. Uh, this is a heart rate monitor and an activity tracker and that's basically it. There's not really many more features in the watch. Um, it has an alarm but that's it. There's no stopwatch and there's no countdown timer which for a watch that you'd want to use at a gym you'd I would have thought they should have put in a, a stopwatch and a countdown timer. Uh, the activity um, monitor is you're supposed to wear it throughout the day and then it shows you how active you've been throughout the day. So if you wear it um, all the time and you've not been moving for a certain amount of time, uh, it will buzz and uh, not give you a notification it's time for you to move. Which is great if you if you don't move around a lot and you need to get that activity and move around. But uh, for me, it's not really something essential. So I've already completed my activity 122% already. So when you get to 100%, you've, you've achieved. Uh, it does give you um, goals on how to reach. So it'll tell you this is how many steps you need to take for activity or for jogging to reach your goals. But... I, that's not something I needed. Um, uh, you've got your history. So if you click on activity, then it'll tell you what your activity throughout the day. So I've done th nearly what two hours. So I've done two hours fifty eight minutes this morning at the gym. I've burnt one thousand three hundred and seventy six calories. Um, that's how many steps I've taken. That's the distance I've run. Um, and I've reached my goal. And that's it. That's all of the information it gives you. Um, while you're training, um, it doesn't give you much information. So when you start, um, you press this button to start getting to the training mode, and then it will give you different options of which type of exercise you're going to be doing. But all this does, it just gives the name to the exercise. It doesn't make any difference. Um, I've gone running while I've had it on the cycling mode. And I've gone um, running while I've had it on the strength training mode. And it's not made any difference whatsoever in terms of um, information it's collected. So it doesn't matter. This is just a way of giving it a name. Um, that's not really something I needed. Uh, this one, which I've, I've used before, this is a much, much better gym watch, I think. Um, you put in all your details. You put in all your details in this one as well. Um, with this one, it will then set you a program. You tell it what you want to do. If you want to uh, increase your cardio, if you want to do strength training, and it will give you um, a, a program to th throughout the week to follow. So it will say you need to do um, this type of training. You need to ha have your heart rate in this certain range. Sorry if it's out of focus. I keep looking to the viewfinder. Uh, and it'll tell you exactly, so if you're doing strength training, it'll tell you how long you need to pause for and then when to pick up and how many sets you need to do. So, yeah, much, much better. This is just a heart rate monitor. So it's not really something I wanted, uh, just a heart rate monitor. I wanted something more along, an upgrade to this, to be honest. And this is more of a downgrade uh, to this. And in terms of price, this is a lot more expensive as well. Uh, one of the reasons is, um, one, it's rechargeable, which is great. So you take it out of this uh, rubber uh, case. You plug it into your uh, computer or to the charging wire. If you plug it into your computer, it'll download all your activities. Uh, you can also use the the app, the Polar app, where it will show your, your activities throughout the day, the week, the month. I'm not sure how long... Um, it will keep the information on the watch, but I tend to plug it in once every two weeks. The battery lasts me about two weeks, so and I train a lot. Um, I train, as you can see, two to three hours a day, uh, literally seven days a week. So I'm getting two weeks charge out of the battery, which is I was quite impressed with that. Uh, but the heart rate monitor doesn't uh, last a long time. I think because the heart rate monitor um, is Bluetooth. It seems to be draining the power a lot quicker than just a standard heart rate monitor. So I've had to change the battery every, I think, three weeks on that one. So you can see it's quite easy to get in and out. And it doesn't fall out, so it's quite good. Um, I, my, one of my thoughts uh, I was worried about was that it might just sort of keep slipping out, but it, it doesn't. 
uh, and you can change the bands um, which you, you see earlier but yeah disappointed um, it's not something I'm going to continue to use um, I'm going to go back to this one which because it's just so much better um, I don't use it to track my activities online so you can you, you sign up once you get the the watch you plug it into your computer it will download some uh, software uh, and then you register online to the Polar website and you can again track your activities throughout the, the day, the month, the week and I think it'll go back. It'll literally save all your activities and once it's on, on your profile you can go back to it and have a look which I guess is, is great if you want to be checking your activities throughout the uh, weeks, months or years. Uh, you can do that but it's not something really essential for me. My main interest is and when I'm doing interval training I want something uh, which one can keep a track of my heart rate so I can stay within my heart, heart rate zone and also I need a stopwatch um, and something which I, even a, um, a countdown timer see this has got a stopwatch countdown timer um, so it's it's, a, it's ideal this is a much much better gym watch uh, you, this I mean when you're running or you're doing so let's say that so you start it like that and that's literally you've got so you've got your uh, the time you've been training and then it'll tell you the time wherever it is now your calories burnt and that's literally it if you don't use it with the heart rate monitor this is all you get if you use it with the heart rate monitor you'll get your heart rate uh, there um, and that's it so if you're doing interval training you've got to constantly be looking at, at your time and say okay right I'm going to run for 20 seconds so you've got to constantly keep looking right is my 20 seconds up no, not yet. No, not yet. So it's annoying. Um, and if you want to um, use it for interval training, you need something with a timer. So it'll go off every 20 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever you've, you've set it to. So you don't have to keep looking at it. And then uh, to stop it, you just do that. You pause the recording, hold, and it will... And that's saved, uh, or well, because it's so short, it doesn't have to be. But I'm not going to save that. Uh, it does have like a little battery notification there, so it'll tell you how much uh, you've got left. So I'm about halfway through mine, but yeah. If you want a a heart rate monitor, I would say pick something else. You can go to a supermarket or more sport shops where they'll have like uh, sports sections in supermarkets nowadays here in England or um, pick up a heart rate monitor from a sports shop it'll cost you probably be about ten pounds um, and it's gonna be just as good as this yeah you won't be able to plug it into the computer to download all your information if that's something you need then yeah this is fine uh, I think I should have gone up for the I think it's the A400 um, that would probably be a better one, but that's um, got GPS. Is not really something I need, uh, so that I thought this one would be more suitable. But yeah, not impressed. I'm um, gonna just use the heart rate monitor now because I'll go back to this and use the heart rate monitor with this one, uh, and just keep this as a backup um, if I ever need uh, need it. If this breaks, I mean, the heart rate monitor on this one broke, and it was more expensive. To buy a new just a simple heart rate monitor so which is ridiculous so i will be keeping this watch but if anybody wants it for gym training like i do i would say look at something else within the polar range if you want just a, a heart rate monitor where you can plug it into your uh, computer and check your activities or if you need something on your wrist where um, it'll tell you to get up and move around every 30 minutes 40 minutes whatever it is um, I, as soon as I'm, I finish my gym training, I tend to take it off and not wear it again. It's a very thick watch, so it's not comfortable to wear, I think. Um, if you compare it to this one, it's, it's nearly twice the thickness of it. So this one's a lot more comfortable. But this is very, very light because the silicone is very soft and um, flexible. Well, to wear, but that. The height of it is just ridiculous. We're into winter here in England, so when you're wearing it with something with long sleeve, it's it's really difficult to get that whatever jacket or something else on or off. But yeah, 
Not impressed. 